Hey guys, Anna TV here, and welcome back to another Seduce Me episode. We are on episode 10, yes! And to celebrate this new episode, I went ahead and created a new thumbnail. I hope it didn't confuse you if you were looking for this episode. Um, yeah, um, I really got into making new thumbnails, so I wanted to make a new one because the other one didn't look that well. So... Yeah, we last left off with us helping Matt in the kitchen, and we're going to go ahead and throw ourselves a housewarming party on request of our mother, who does not live with us. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let's get right into it, shall we? I walked into the kitchen and instantly looked over at Matthew, who was quickly slicing up strawberries and placing them onto an, into a nearby bowl. I walked over and looked over his shoulder to watch. Matthew didn't seem to mind, so I decided to ask him a question. What are you making? I'm going to make a large batch of strawberry cupcakes. These strawberries are going to be the top pieces. That's, that's fascinating. Oh, that sounds delicious. Can I help? Yeah, I kind of hoped you would. <laughs> Can you start by making the batter for the cupcakes? I put the ingredients and some directions on the counter over there. So fancy, Matthew. I nodded before heading over to the other counter, where a string of ingredients and small note cards of directions sat at the ready. I smiled and began to work, mixing the ingredients and pouring the batter into the cupcake tins to bake. I had to admit, I was making a bit of a mess, but... I felt like the cupcakes were still fine. There we go! Now we just need to wait. As I turned to face Matthew, I noticed Matthew's red face. I, til I tilted my head before he walked over, and he moved his hands a bit towards my face. He stopped, however, looking at me for permission. Oh god! Touch my own face. Nod to him. Touch my own face. I reach up and gently touch my cheek, feeling a small stain of powder and cream on it. Realizing <laughs> what he wanted to do, I smiled and wiped off my cheek. Okay. Woo! I thought that was going in another direction. I was going to say, we are not going to be going for 0 for 3 right now. <laughs> Thanks, Matthew. Matthew shook his head frantically before laughing and rubbing the back of his neck with his hand. You're welcome. He <laughs> <laughs> it's so anime. <laughs> Eventually, we both had finished making a large batch of food for the party, setting them all up on the dining room table before Eric had cleaned. The hour of the party... The hour of the house party had arrived. In my mind, I kept double and triple checking the essentials for the party. Knowing my dad, he invited his business partners and the executives of the Anderson Company to show me off. I stood in front of my mirror in my room, staring at my form as a million thoughts ran through my mind. It was just a housewarming party, but at the same time, it wasn't. It was my chance to show my dad that I was better than he ex his expectations. Ugh. It was a chance for me to to see my parents, for my parents to see me. Wait. It was a chance for me to see my parents as a woman. I don't think that's worded properly. I think it's supposed to say it's by my. my parents were supposed to see me as a woman. I might- I don't know. <laughs> it was my chance to show my dad that I was better than his expectations. It was a chance for me to see my parents as a woman, and it was my test to see if I was really ready to live on my own. You're not ready to live on your own, that's the thing. Well, not truly alone. I had the incubi to thank, but even so, I didn't have my dad guiding me or my mom helping me through living alone. A knock on my door broke my thoughts, surprising me. Who is it? Hey, are you okay in there? Your 
sorry to see you soon. So you should hurry getting ready. I see I see your heads are over your mouth, Naomi. Well, I'm ready, but... But what? I'm sure you look fine, Anderson. Just come on out. Is this okay? Can you just call me by my first name, please? Oh, that's right. You can't because you don't know my real name. All right. Oh, her dress is so pretty. Look at her dress. Ooh. <laughs> oh, oh, Naomi has a pretty dress, too. Oh, no. Go back. No. No. Back. 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 There we go. As soon as I opened the door to the hall, I watched as Naomi and Zuzu face turned from smiles to complete awestruck and stares. What? Dude, you look hot. Oh, thank you. Oh. Yeah, you look amazing. Where did you get that dress? It seems like it doesn't fit her, so I'm going to say it's her mother's. I've had it for a while. I just never had the chance to wear it. I figured I might as well bring it out now. It doesn't fit you. <laughs> Ooh, they clean up. Very spiffy. I stepped out of my room and closed my bedroom door behind me. As they walked down the hall to the grand lobby, the incubi stood waiting for me at the bottom, all dressed to the nines as a proper servant. Whoa! They really know how to dress well, don't they? Yes, they do. Yeah. I like how Damien always has his hand on his chest. Just, just right there. I was slightly taken back. I was slightly taken aback on how great the boys looked in uniform. Each had the pose of a perfect gentleman. Even Sam. No, Sam does not really have the pose of a perfect gentleman. His hands are on his waist. I slowly began to climb down the steps with Zuzu and Naomi behind me. The boys watched as I descended from the staircase, one step at a time. Like knights, they waited for their princess. I felt my face slightly flush. But I quickly shook my head to try and regain my thoughts. As I reached for the last step, James offered his hand out to me and walked me down the final step, smiling. Ah, oh, cute! As beautiful as a princess, miss. Oh, thank you. Ho oh, oh. ho. I am a princess. Hmm. Indubitably. Thank you. <laughs> so, are you prepared for tonight? No. Yes, I'm ready. As ready as I'll ever be. To be honest, no. I'm gonna say to be honest, no. I didn't feel confident at all. Sometimes about something about tonight frightens me. I couldn't tell if it was the fear of my dad or the guests that dad surely invited. But something about tonight's party left me beyond nervous. The other boys smiled, assuring, assuring, assuringly at me, words, which made me feel a bit better about everything. I looked at my phone and marked the time. Almost right on cue, the doorbell rang. I gulped. Gulp. <laughs> I... <laughs> By the way, if you're ever wondering, I just noticed this. If you're ever wondering what that jingle sound in the corner, or the corner? If you ever wonder what the jingling sound is in the background, that is my dog's collar. So, if you ever hear it, just go, shush, darn it, bell, stop jingling yo collar. Yeah. It's not a bell around her neck, by the way. Her name is Bell. <laughs> Speaking of Bell, stop freaking moving. I could practically feel my dad's aura from behind the door. Sam and Eric quickly rushed to the door and opened the double door wide to reveal my parents both dressed their best. Oh, your mom is so pretty. And then your dad's just like, nah, I'm, I'm not about this. Hey, mom. Hey, dad. Oh, my. I didn't know your bequeathment came with servants. <laughs> my, my bequeathment. It was probably overlooked. Besides, who would deny good service? Uh, a lot of people. I was completely shocked. My parents didn't question the boys. They didn't ask for verification or anything. 
I looked at the boys and nodded, Sam and Eric staring intently at my parents. Uh, were they using their powers on them? They had to be. There was no way they'd be okay with this otherwise. Interesting. I guess the servants counted as belongings to the house. Snap! Try to say people own other people. My mother quickly rushed to me and gave me a large hug. I hugged her back, inhaling her perfume. It had only been a couple of days, but living away from the ones who raised you was hard. My mother soon let me go and looked at my outfit. Mm, gorgeous! You look so lovely. David, look at your daughter and tell her I'm right. I looked at my dad, who was looking around the lobby, like an inspector. I stood my ground, waiting for him to look at me. When he did, he let a small, great—he let a small smile grace his lips. Your mother's right. You look like you're all grown up. I'm still in high school. <laughs> The world around me stood as my heart pounded hard in my chest. Did my dad just compliment me on his own accord? My mother was grinning ear to ear at his words. I was beyond speechless. Thank you, daddy. However, his cold face quickly returned as he began to look around once again. I assume that you're ready then to impress the rest of the guests, correct? Snap! be that way. Let's see how it is. What do you mean? The entire board from Anderson Toys is coming tonight. Even the vice chairman's son will be coming. All of them will be measuring your potential. I'm sorry, what? Everyone? My potential? To become CEO of the company. I don't want to be CEO of a toy company. I knew it. Something was off about tonight and now this party had become much more than I anticipated. I gulped silently. How do you gulp silently? But I nodded in response. I looked at the incubi, but they were continuing to be servants for my father's approval. I looked behind me and saw Naomi and Zuzu raise their, thumb raise their thumbs I can't speak at me for encouragement. I let out a small breath before feeling my body accept the situation. I felt a weight in my gut, but I had to hide it. Ooh, pretty music. As if time zoomed forward, all of a sudden the main hall of the lobby was full of guests. Men and women in formal or business attire showed up to meet me and see my new home. I didn't expect many to come, but once again, surprised that night. I shook, I shook hands with many officials and executive members, putting on the professional face that my dad trained me to have. I felt overwhelmed, but I hid it well behind a small smile and handshake. It's- that's what you say when you secretly hate everyone in the world. <laughs> Many even asked me questions. I tried my best to reply as- as maturely as possible. I had to remember, say what they want to hear, not what you want to say. So, how do you feel living on your own at such a young age? Horrible. Oh, I got the option. I'm doing my best while I, uh, I feel fine. I'm so sorry about <gasps> your grandfather passing. No, 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 wait, back. So, how do you feel living on your own at such a young age? I have the answer quick. Uh, 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 it's be okay. It's, f oh my god, it's time. It's difficult. Uh, we'll do best. No, go back. No, 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 go back. Um, um, well, I feel fine. Uh, it's okay. Uh, it's been pretty good. I'm doing my best. I'm so sorry about your grandfather passing away. It really hit all of us hard. Okay. Um. Um. Sorry, but I don't want to talk about that. Uh. Thank you for the condolences. Uh. Thank you for Do the. Do you have college plans? Yes. Uh. Uh. College. Uh. Uh. Yes, I do. 
I felt like the questions <laughs> came one after another. It was tough to answer some of them because they weren't about me. They were about the company. What do you think will happen oh with God. the company now that your grandfather has passed? What? This isn't like a press thing. Um, it, it depends on who runs it. I, I, uh, what do you think of no, the, go the back. Anthropology? What do you think will happen with the... I, I, Depends on who what runs it. What do you think of the philanthropic policy the company has? Uh, I'm thirsty. Uh, policy reflects my values. Uh, do you think the company should expand from just toys? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna leave now. It's, it's a toy company. Um, I don't... It's a possibility. Eventually the quest should stop. And I was back. <laughs> that was so stressful. I'm pretty sure I answered like two of those horribly wrong, but... Eventually, the question stopped, and I was back to being myself. Naomi and Zuzu were mingling in the crowds, and the Incubi were doing their jobs. So, I was all alone in a room full of strangers. It was unnerving to think about. It was unnerving to think about, but at least I wasn't being questioned left and right anymore. Mommy! Suddenly... So my mom pushed her way through the crowd to me, bringing someone along I didn't know. Honey, I'd like to introduce you to someone. This kind gentleman is the son of the vice chairman. Oh, mommy's trying to set me up with someone. Oh, he is cute! <laughs> with, my <laughs> with my mother stood a man who looked only a couple of years older than me. He smiled and held out his hand to me, slightly asking for my hand. Hi, I'm Andrew Lewis. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Anderson. You are cute. Place your hand in his hand, simply nod him. You place your hand in his hand, young lady. <laughs> As I placed my hand in his, he raised it to his lips and kissed it over his knuck over my knuckles. I felt my face burn slightly with the gest at the gesture. Andrew smiled at me before releasing my hand. I'm honored to be invited here. Yeah. <laughs> My mother smiled at both of us. At both. I can't speak today. My mother. <laughs> my mother smiled at both of us, which made me slightly concerned. Why was she excited to introduce me to Andrew? Because she wants to set you up with him. That's why. Not gonna lie. My mother has done this to me. It's very awkward. Let's embarrass her more. <laughs> so, um, you organized this party very well, Miss Anderson. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Praise is very much deserved. Andrew then chuckled nervously, bringing a soft fist to his lips to cover his laugh properly before smiling at me. I'm sorry if I seem a little forward. <laughs> I've just been excited to meet Harold Anderson's granddaughter. Is that because you want to date me? <laughs> what is that sound I just made? Uh, why? <laughs> he used to talk about you all the time in the office on how you helped him refine his toys. I only attended meetings and heard all of the stories. You've helped a lot with the success of the company without having to actually work there. <laughs> oh wow, I didn't know he talked about me. That would explain everyone's fascination with me and their rather personal questions. I looked to Andrew who had a kind face to me. Something about him seemed off and I didn't know what it was. He seemed to be hiding something. Whether it was good or bad, I was not able to find out. I felt someone walk up beside me, causing me to turn to them. Next to me was my dad, giving his cold sh stare to Andrew, who suddenly became tense. So, you're Jared's son. Oh, this is its going to be the daddy. The daddy talk. <laughs> Andrew's body twitched slightly, whether it was a fear or insult. Andrew locked eyes with my father. I couldn't help but feel the tension between them. It irked me on how fragile the air became, enough to break the wrong word. You're the one who wants to be the next CEO of the Anderson Company. Oh. Well. I stared at Andrew. This guy wanted to take my grandfather's place as CEO? I thought the vice chairman wanted the position. David, leave the poor boy alone. I'm merely testing the boy's conversational skills. Nothing wrong with that. Mmm, okay. Of course not, sir. Are you sure you're just not testing the daddy waters? And polite as well. 
interesting. Yeah, it's intriguing. If you'll excuse me. Oh. Quickly, Andrew retreated away from my family into the crowd of people. Pull away, follow him. Oh, stay put, follow him. Oh. Follow him. I quickly followed Andrew, wanting to be sure if he was alright. I felt a little embarrassed that my dad put him on the spot like that. I had to apologize. Oh, it's a gazebo. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so cute. It's a little gazebo under the stars. <laughs> he wound up outside. The stars practically danced on the grass as we stood in the backyard of the mansion. It had been my first time in years being out there. My thoughts weren't on the nostalgia side. Hey, Andrew. Andrew turned to me in surprise. However, his face was completely red with both embarrassment and humiliation. I felt terrible. Oh, I am... Um, I didn't see you or hear you following. Sorry. Hmm? Huh? No, 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 it's fine. I should be the one apologizing. What for? You didn't do anything wrong. I mean, for the way my dad behaved. He shouldn't have been so... Oh, no. No, it's fine. I mean, I should have expected it and been more prepared. <laughs> Andrew rubbed the back of his neck and gave a goofy grin. It was intriguing, intriguing seeing Andrew's professional side and then seeing a goofy smile away from everyone. He did the Matthew anime thing. Hey, 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 back of the shoulder, rub. Hey, hey, I'll be back of the neck. Why do I say shoulder? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Still, I'm sorry for that. It's not a problem, really, but thank you. You're welcome. We both smiled at each other before I reached my hand out to him. He tilted his head and raised an eyebrow in confusion. Anna. My name is Anna. Oh! In understanding, his smile returned before. In understanding, his smile returned before he took my hand gently and shook it. All right, guys. Well, I am going to end this episode here. I don't like to run it anywhere past twenty-five minutes usually for these episodes, and if it does, that's because something big is happening, and I'm going to leave it on a cliffhanger. Mwahaha, because I'm I'm that person. So yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you like my speech problem. <laughs> And join the TV kingdom by hitting that subscribe button. If you liked this video and you want to let me know that you want more, trust me, this button is literally for nothing else except for telling me that you like the series. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And what do you think is going to happen next? Leave a comment down below. Anyways, guys, I will see you all later. Remember, this is not just my channel. This is your channel, too. Bye!